nicknamed Devil's Paradise, 80,000 ounces of gold is found here per year, worth $136 million. But the price people pay is brutal. Located almost as high as Everest Base Camp, the harsh living conditions and oxygen-thin air means the average life expectancy here is just 30 years old. Listo, vamos. Tenemos que tomar camioneta para ir a otro punto y ahí termina. Diego, what's happening? Uh, he's asking us to go to another point where they process the mercury. Ah. Oh, very cool. Nice. Uh, I don't want you to panic. I can't talk so much. I have no oxygen. <laughs> and I have a bit of a headache. How long do you start feeling sick? An hour ago. At 17,000 feet, the air here has 50% less oxygen than Parker is used to. Yeah. You're going to check his stats? Mm hmm I need to check your oxygen levels. Parker exerted himself pretty hardcore in that mine up there. And he's, uh, he's got a splitting headache for us to be here. The sat needs to be above 70. Is it measuring? Yep, here at 65. That ain't great. That's bad. Oxygen saturation levels below 70 are deemed critical. Blood cells are not carrying enough oxygen around the body, which could be fatal. We need to go? We need to go now. OK, let's go. Bug out. High altitude sickness is usually start with a headache, dizziness, nausea, shortness of breath. And if you continue going, you can have seizures, coma, and death. Makes you probably happy that you live where you do, eh? Oh, my God. Never been more appreciative of my life, ever. If you're already developing symptoms, it's really important to identify them early and go down in altitude fast. Well, I was about to say we did it, we survived in Canada, but we haven't got out yet. Touch wood, Dan. I feel like I just smoked a cyanide dipped cigarette. Headache. It's like throbbing? Yeah. Blurry vision. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel good. With Parker presenting serious symptoms of altitude sickness, Dr. Diego has made the call to evacuate La Rinconada. He must get Parker down to a lower altitude in the hope his body responds to the more oxygen-rich air. Are you feeling okay? That's still bad. <laughs> raging headache. My head is pounding. I'm feeling emotionally and physically drained after today. The altitude alone has knocked me. Um, yeah, you can just feel your body not getting enough oxygen. And then to see what these people are going through is it's, yeah, it's really hard. I don't think Parker's ever going to mine there. But we ended up leaving Rinconada today with Parker feeling pretty sick. So we got out of there, we had to come down in elevation. Diego is pretty concerned, and if our doctor is concerned, you know it's not good. Diego, what's happening, mate? Where, where are you going now? Checking the partner. He's really sick. How are you feeling? Did you puke? When? Right here. I'm still so cold. I'm going to turn on the lights, babe. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, 
the attitude definitely playing a part in this, do you think? You still good nauseous? Yeah? <coughs> All right, buddy. There's nothing left. No, I know, mate. It's dark. You are not looking good, babe. Why? Yeah. Why is it still... Diego's gonna sort that out. I'm genuinely f scared. Is this severe? Yeah. Do we have to be careful here? You alright, buddy? He usually has good veins. He doesn't have good veins right now. He's dehydrated, the Really? Don't flex your arm. Stop! I think we should give him some chance okay. to recover. And if not, I will make the call and we will. 